Hi and welcome to SkiSnowboardTuning.com. My name's Neil, I'm the technician here in Hinkley, Leicestershire. Today's video I'm going to do a step-by-step -step guide to how to use our universal kit. The universal kit you can buy in three ways. You can buy the kit itself, you can buy the kit with the Kunzman base and edge file, and also with the Demon mini iron. Everything you need to look after your board and skis. So inside the tin you will get a step-by-step -step instruction of how to use everything in the kit. You'll get a base cleaner, a waxing cork, two PTEX, a clear and a black, a variety of waxes which we'll go through, structure pads and a ski snowboard tuning scraper and also a cleaning cloth. Everything you need to look after your board or your skis. The waxes that I've chose, I've got a universal wax, I've got a sunfire, and I've got a Magna. The iron temperature is in every single one of the packs. So the first thing we're going to want to do is have an inspection of your board or your skis. We're going to look for any delamming on the outside of the board at the tips and the tail and any gouges or marks where you've hit a rock which will need PTEX in. I always say the first thing we do when we service our board is PTEX in. I'm going to do a separate video on P-Texing, um, so that will be on Ski Snowboard Tuning first. Once you've p text your board and you've scraped it off, we're going to start on the edges, which also, to push the video along, we're going to do a separate video on how to use the Kunzman side and edge tool. Um, so, inspection of the board. You've done your P-Texing, you've done your edges. Clean your area so there's no shavings anywhere. So we want to base clean your board. If you haven't got a heat tool, it's always good to get a bit of heat into the board. Get your girlfriend's hair dryer. We want to get a little bit of heat in the base of your board. I always put my hand over so I don't burn the base of my board. Open them pores up. Hair dryers are just as good. Feel the board heating up. Perfect. So with your Data Wax base cleaner, give your board a really good spray. Leave this to stoke for 10-15 minutes. In the kit I'll put in the structure pads. I'd like you to cut the structure pads, the green one, into three and keep them separate. First one, let's work that work that in. You can go tip to tail. Getting rid of all the grease and oils at the base of your board. Then with your scraper, we're going to scrape the first lot off with your scraper. Now base clean knot is flammable so bear that in mind. And this will also, using the scraper, pull all any of the old wax off the board. Then, with your cloth, wipe the remaining off. If your board's still looking grubby, do it again. Spray it, work it in with a structure pad, and then wipe it off. Leave that 20 minutes, and then come back, and then we're going to do a hot wax scrape. My favourite method of Cleaning the base of your board is a hot wax scrape. For that, we're going to use our yellow wax, which is a Sunfire, nice soft wax, and your Demon Iron. Iron temperature is around 115, 110, so we'll set that. Ways for getting wax on your board. Dripping. If you're new to it, I always recommend that you chalk, because then you know that you've covered every bit of the snowboard. So dripping, literally, 
dripping the wax on your board chalking starting at the tip just chalking the wax when you've done it a few times you hardly use any wax but if you're new to it, I'd rather you use more than less. So to speed things up, we're going to drip it on. Brilliant little iron, this demon iron. And the purpose of a hot wax scrape is to pull all the oils and all the dirt out of the base of your board prior to putting your final wax on. So that's more than enough so a lot of people say you can only go tip to tail just get for the start just get that wax melted straight into the board if you are in smoking then it's too hot just turn it down a little bit it turning into a liquid and filling all them pores of your snowboard or your skis Now that's all the big bits all melted. Now we are going to work tip to tail. Just don't leave the iron in one place for too long to keep it moving at all times. Now with the last couple of passes, just go over nice and slowly, making sure it's not bubbling behind the iron. And there's just a nice puddle behind the back of the iron. see the wax working into all the little pores The reason why we call this a hot wax scrape is because we're going to scrape it off hot again which allows you to pull everything out of the pores of your board ready for your final wax. So get the whole board heated up, get ready with your scraper. ready to get that out and clean the base of your board so with your with your scraper hold it at a bit of an angle just pull all that dirt off this after you've done this one time it's the wax is still really dirty and again just do it again it's really clean the base of your board
that is your hot wax scrape. So with your other piece of your structure pad, I'm just going to work, put your cork over it, have your structure pad to give you a hand. This is going to get it ready for our next wax. So, just spotted there's a bit of wax, so we'll get, get that off. Now we're ready for our final wax. Again, I always like to use universal. And then for people that just say I want to go as fast as I can, I'll use a universal. Scrape it off, let it drop, let it set, scrape it off, and then I'll do a magna, which is a high-speed glide. So for the video, we're going to use our universal. So iron temperature. 115, 120. That's set again, drip it or rub it. Chalking it, you really do get a good spread of the wax. We're going to get that melted and then we're going to leave that for at least 20 25 minutes. Or I like to leave mine overnight in a heated room and get it all scraped off in the morning and then go and ride. <coughs> In the first stage just get the wax melted on you don't have to go tip to tail as long as you don't leave the iron in the same place for too long it will be fine A small iron, this really is a good iron. So the last couple of passes, like we did with the Sunfire, I'm going to go nice and slow, making sure we're not bubbling behind, and we're just leaving a nice pool of wax, it's covered every one of the pores.
Does that. Couple more. Boom. So that's your board waxed. Going to now leave that for, as I say, 25 minutes. Fill the base of your board. When it's cooled down, it's time to scrape off and then structure. So I like to, as I say, leave mine overnight um, and or nearest when I'm going to ride, and then get it scraped off, get it structured, ready to ride. So we're going to go on to scraping the board now. This one I've left overnight completely cooled down we just want to scrape it now and structure and core so we're starting from the tip of our board scrape at a bit of an angle to get us started really important to get as much wax off as you can. Wax is now all in the pores of the board and that's where you need it. I can see a nice shine to the board. Back of your hand, you can feel any lumps of wax that are still on there. It's still got loads of wax on, so Keep working it until you're happy, all that wax is completely off. Still pulling lots of wax off. Another way I also do, I also pull so I can see where the big clumps of wax is still left on the board. We're still pulling a lot of wax out. Thank <laughs> you. 
is why when you get better the less wax you use the easier it is to scrape off almost there now Right, we use structured pad. It's going to work tip to tail. Just start rubbing. The more you structure, the faster you will go. The more you brush, the more you structure, it, the faster you'll go. Again, use your cork. You'll see loads of little wax pellets, or we call them wax dandruff. That's what we will use the cork for. Working that wax right in. So I'm happy there's no big pile of wax anywhere. Nearly ready for cork. Get your other structure pad. Oh, it's looking really nourished. Any wax patches that you have left on, when you use structure pad, it'll come up white, so you'll need to get your scraper, scrape that bit of wax off. Nice. So now we're going to use our waxing cork. The purpose of a waxing cork is to get rid of all the wax pellets. <laughs> really puts a nice gloss on your board as well. You can see all them wax pellets all gathering. So, just hit, even though it's structured, just hit some more wax. Scrape it off. Definitely the bonus of using your cork. <laughs> Feel the base, the back of your hand, it's going to go. And there you have how to do the basic service with our ski snowboard tuning universal tin. As I say, I'll be doing some videos on PTEX in and using the Kunzman file, the different waxes. So please look out for my other videos. That's ready to ride. Thanks for watching.